Remember Axel? The science fiction adventure of a teenage boy who encounters a robotic dog created from cutting edge military technology. Didn't we all want one for ourselves? Well, with the rapid growth in robotics technology, it may become true sooner than expected. Millions of years of evolution has allowed animals to develop some very elegant and highly efficient solutions to problems like locomotion, flight and dexterity. There is no better engineer out there than nature itself. And so from robo bees to mechanical cockroaches, everyday science uses the natural world as its inspiration for advancements in robotics technology, also known as biomimicry. Let's have a look at some of the most successful robots that borrow from nature and why. Barrow the robotic harp seal. Over the years, various studies have shown that pets can help reduce stress and anxiety. Treatment by animal companionship is a common therapy prescribed for mental health patients. But mental health patients can change their behaviors very rapidly which can frighten the animals. Some therapy animals get so traumatized that they're not able to continue their work. No animal would want to be constantly pulled or poked at. Additionally, hospitals have to be sanitary and many people are allergic to different animals and a robot animal solves all of these problems. Certified as a therapeutic medical device, Barrow is a very cute robot modeled after a baby seal and has proved to have a calming effect on patients of mental health similar to real animal assisted therapy. Commercially available since 2004, Barrow has been used primarily in care facilities, especially as a form of therapy for dementia patients. People with dementia may sometimes get agitated and violent, unable to settle down. Previously and still at most places, these patients were sedated and physically restrained. But when these patients came in contact with Barrow, they settled down almost immediately by feeling good. Of course it doesn't happen 100% of the time, but hey, even if it doesn't work, there's no side effect. Barrow's fur is fluffy and antibacterial. It responds to petting by moving its tail and opening and closing its eyes. Barrow also responds to sounds and can learn names including its own. It can learn to behave in a way that the user prefers, gradually developing a personality that the owner likes. For example, if you stroke it every time you touch it, Barrow will remember your previous action and try to repeat that action to be stroked. If you hit it, Barrow remembers its previous action and tries not to repeat it. So basically, just like animals used in pet therapy, Barrow can help relieve depression and anxiety, and it doesn't need to be fed and doesn't die. And true, just like most toxic partners, it is programmed to cry for attention, but it also includes an off switch. Well, I say, let's seal the deal. Mofflin, what Vanguard Solutions calls the pet of the future, with more and more millennials choosing pets over partners or children. it might become the future companion for many of us moflin is an ai pet created from a totally new concept it possesses emotional capabilities that evolve just like living animals the researchers took a nature inspired approach and developed a unique genetic algorithm that allows it to learn and grow the algorithm evolves like a human dna with experience and so every moflin will have its own unique personality Mofflin will show its emotion through cute sounds and movement made possible by an actuator. This technology that realizes concepts and improves everyday life has tremendous emotional value. Robot pets keep elderly people from being depressed and also keep them active. A study found that the senior adults who interacted with the pets had a much more beneficial and positive outlook on life. These pets will promote an easier yet more affordable lifestyle for old people and more low maintenance way to have the companionship of a pet. Mofflin can provide tremendous therapeutic benefits not only to the elderly but also for children as the robots behave as social companions for those interacting with it. Increased engagement, increased levels of attention and novel social behaviors. For example, joint attention and imitation were found when the children interacted with robot pets. With its warm fur and cute sounds, you'd want to love it forever. And this is how a mufflin charges. 
Most of the world's produce that we take for granted are thanks to insects like bees that help in the pollination of flower of plants. In recent years, scientists have been searching for a solution to the decline of honeybees, which pollinate nearly one third of the food we eat and are dying at unprecedented rates largely because of a phenomenon called colony collapse disorder. Harvard University researchers introduced the first robo-bees in 2013. At the time, the bee-sized robots could only fly and hover mid-air when tethered to a power source, but they have advanced since then. Today, the robo-bees can also stick to surfaces, swim underwater, and dive in and out of the water. The 3 cm wingspan of RoboBee makes it the smallest man-made device modelled on an insect to achieve flight. The drone-style RoboBees have horsehair coated with the gel pounded in their bellies, which takes pollen to it without damaging the pistils of the flower. The drones could carry pollen from one plant to another using sensors and cameras to detect the location of the crops. The researchers believe that these robo-bees could soon be artificially pollinating fields of crops. That could mean that these bees could work in a farm one day, rather than just in a lab. These robot bees can work incessantly even in spring when bumblebees are not productive. This entirely new class of microbots and robots made of soft materials that are being developed may one day play a transformative role in medicine, search and rescue missions and agriculture. Ilium. Oil is a finite resource and that means that we have to dig deeper to find more. The number of subsea installations for oil and gas production are also increasing with time and the existing infrastructure is aging. This equipment needs to be monitored and maintained which is no simple matter. Throughout the 60s, 70s and 80s, 17 divers lost their lives and several hundred were injured in operations like these in the North Sea. In the 1990s, remote-controlled underwater vehicles began to take over some of the divers' inspection and mechanical tasks. But there were still some shortcomings as large underwater vehicles could not access and operate at all places, especially the compact ones. And so the growing demand for new and innovative solutions for maintenance and repair of subsea installations has resulted in the innovation of Elum. The Elum made after years of research on snake and eel-based robots, are primarily designed to inspect, maintain and repair subsea infrastructure. But it may also have military applications, including for mine countermeasures and undersea surveillance. It has a flexible segmented body that is propelled through the water by thrusters and that's equipped with lights, camera and interchangeable manipulator tools or sensors. When travelling through the water, it straightens its body like a torpedo for maximum streamlining. Plus, it can form itself into a U-shaped robotic arm, which allows it to brace itself by grasping an immovable object with one end of its body and then performing a leverage requiring task such as turning a valve with a manipulator attached to the other end. The Elum is intended to be able to dive 500 meters beneath the surface and it is designed to be either entirely autonomous or capable of being controlled remotely by an operator. The Elum is intended to be deployed permanently underwater, housed at subsea docking stations. As autonomous robots enter our subsea operations, they are expected to radically change the way we operate and potentially also build our subsea equipment. Fleets of the robots will be permanently housed in undersea docking stations at locations such as offshore drilling rigs. That way, instead of having to be repeatedly lowered into the water and then retrieved, they can simply be driven in and out of the structures as needed. The robots will also be able to charge their batteries inside the stations. Inclement weather and lack of available surface vessels will be of no objection. Well, if we are talking about underwater innovations, I would like a mermaid robot carry my cocktail at the next pool party. There, I said it. Boston Dynamics Spot If you are a dog lover but can't handle them because of the mess, long office hours or pet policies at work etc etc, then Boston Dynamics Spot is just for you. Spot is a compact four-legged robot that can map its environment, sense and avoid obstacles, climb stairs and open doors. It can also fetch you a drink. 
five sensor modules located on every side of spot's body allow it to survey the space around itself from any direction. With a top speed of 1.6 meters per second, the robot can operate for 90 minutes on a charge. The company also plans to offer an extra 6 degrees of freedom arm and a ring of cameras called SpotCam that can be used to create street view type images inside buildings. What applications will Spot have? Well, the best way to find out will be to put Spot in the hands of as many users as possible and let them develop the applications. From data collection or light manipulation in construction sites to carrying out dangerous missions such as bomb disposal, the possibilities are endless. SpaceX just bought one. Does that come in black? Already in 2020, robots take inventory and clean floors in Walmart. They shelf goods and fetch them for mailing in warehouses. They cut letters and pick apples and even raspberries. They help autistic children socialize and stroke victims regain the use of their limbs. They patrol borders and in the case of Israel's Harrow drone, attack targets they deem hostile. Robots arrange flowers, perform religious ceremonies, do stand-up comedy and serve as sexual partners. In the ecosystem of the near future, humans and robots will work together to create maximum efficiency. And it's not going to happen 20 years from now. It has already started. Stating a bold statement by Robert Woods, ready or not, robotics is the next internet. Go. If you are a dog lover but can't handle them because of the mess, long office hours or pet policies at work etc etc, record over and then you There, I said it. There, I said it. Three, two, one, go. Yeah. Dog lover but can't handle them because of the mess, long office hours or pet policies at work etc etc, then Boston Dynamics Spot is just for you. Love I love you, Jesus.